Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremony for Alderson Broadus University during its 150th year. Please rise for the class of 2021 and remain standing for the national anthem and the invocation. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. 
Almighty God, we're so thankful that you've called us here for such a time as this. It is a day of great occasion, the opportunity to recognize a milestone in the lives of our graduates. We thank you for the administration and faculty, all those that have been a part of seeing this day come to its completion. Your word reminds us, teach me to do your will, for you are our God. And we pray that your spirit would continue to lead us through on level ground. Our prayer today is that you would fill each graduate with those characteristics that will continue to serve them well in your kingdom and on your path. Lord, we pray for empathy in their lives, for courage, for gratitude, for perseverance, and for kindness. Grant that we may rejoice in the certainty that whatever happens, our paths are made level and firm by your love and your faithfulness. We pray all these things in your most precious name. Amen. Please be seated. Well, welcome to a winter day in Clarksburg. At least the temperature indicates that to me. Esteemed graduates, parents, guests, and friends, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. This, the commencement ceremony at the conclusion of the 150th sesquicentennial year of Alderson Broadish University. Honoring you, the class of 2021, and those members of the class of 2020 who are able to attend. Will the graduates of the class of 2020 please stand if you're with us today? There you go. Please be seated. I just want to take an opportunity to thank you all, number one, for coming back, and number two, for the fact that we were not able to celebrate last year. And for that, I feel really bad. But I'm so glad you're with us today. Would our honored graduates, all of you please stand. We're going to do some calisthenics today. I want all of you to stand and be recognized by all of your family and friends. Please be seated. You know, on my desk every day, I read the following from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you hope and a future. And every day I read that, and every day I realize that I'm probably the luckiest guy in the world to have you in our midst. And as we say goodbye, I want you to remember that. Hope and a future that you have. Today we honor and applaud the accomplishments of talented and hardworking students. Alderson Broadus University has been dedicated to graduating successful, civic and social-minded individuals who will apply their skills and knowledge to improving our world, and Lord knows we need it. As we recognize the graduates, we affirm the importance of our university's mission to provide our students with the highest quality education, striving to prepare them to succeed in their chosen disciplines and to fulfill their roles in a diverse society as well-rounded and responsible citizens. This is especially true today as we celebrate the accomplishments, all of your accomplishments, and the graduates of the College of Health, Science, Technology, and Mathematics and the School of Anatomy with the commencement ceremony. I'm a proud guy, and I'm a proud president of Alderson Broadish University. 
There is no greater honor than the conferring of each degree. Graduates, your work at AB is complete, and you are ready to enter the world. This day has been your goal, your vision, and your dream. I suspect that some days you never thought this day would come, but it's here. I congratulate you on a job well done. Enjoy the celebratory experience of your time together, but respect the need to social distance, etc., uh, from each other. You are joined today by several members of our staff who are participating virtually and by those present on, on the dais. Each, each congratulate you on a job well done. As I introduce our virtual and platform participants, I ask you to hold your applause until they have been introduced. Joining, joining us virtually is uh, Reverend John Villers, our interim chaplain, and you've already heard from him. Mr. Josh Allen, Associate Vice President of Institutional Advancement and Director of Alumni Relations. The platform participants behind me, I ask that you stand when I call your name and remain standing. Dr. Charlie Chen, Professor of Biology and Faculty Marshal. Ms. Sarah Stevens, Assistant Professor of Mathematics and Faculty Marshal. Dr. Sandra Hoxie, our Registrar. Dr. Andrea Bucklew, the Provost and Professor of Criminal Justice. Dr. Joan Propst, Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Mr. John Ebert, Vice Chairman and member of the Alderson Broadus University Board of Trustees. Please join me in applauding our platform party. You may be seated. Thank you and please be seated. Parents and grandparents, spouses, family members, and friends, we thank you for allowing AB the opportunity and the privilege to teach and mentor today's graduates. We thank you for the sacrifices you have made and to make this day possible. Now, it's also the weekend of Mother's Day. And so for all of the times that you disappointed your mother or didn't give her a Mother's Day card or borrowed $5 because you were broke, this is for mothers. So will all of the mothers, just the mothers and grandmothers and expectant mothers, please rise and be recognized on Mother's Day weekend? Please be seated. Please be seated. Now, graduates, you know behind you are the most precious people in the world. The people that were there for you, as they say in the matrimonial ceremony, in good times and bad, that brought you into this life, supported you. This is your opportunity to turn around and watch as all of these people behind you please stand. All of you, come on, let's get up. And graduates, please, please thank them. All right, everybody can be seated. For your love and support, on behalf of all of the graduates today, I thank you. The commencement ceremony will now begin, and it's our honor to present and confer honorary degrees. 2020 and 2021 has presented many challenges, and a global pandemic has taught us many lessons. We have a deeper sense of what family and community mean in our lives, and we have learned how to become more resilient and adaptable. To that end, you will notice some adaptations to our commencement ceremony. In your program, we have listed the names of three distinguished alumni who are being recognized recipients of their respective honorary degrees. I call your attention to their names and direct you to our webpage, where you will find videos of the conferral ceremonies where applicable. Johnny Dooley, class of 1976, for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. James E. Schreiber, class of 1957, 
for the degree of Doctor of Business. Valerie Ash Woodruff, class of 1966, for the degree of Doctor of Education. And Valerie is also a member of our distinguished Board of Trustees. Please join me as we celebrate our alumni with honorary degrees. Thank you. A few weeks ago, we traveled down to Blacksburg, Virginia, to Virginia Tech University. And we met with our commencement speaker, Dr. John Dooley. And he's graciously allowed us the opportunity to pre-record his speech to the graduating class, and we have posted his words of encouragement on our web at our on our webpage at ab.edu. When you have the time, I encourage you to watch Dr. Dooley's speech as he provide, provides you with the benefit of his, of his wit and wisdom and words of remembrance of his AB experience and how much it meant to him and still means to him. So we will not show it today, but I want you to know his words mean so much to me because he talked about people. He talked about stories. And he talked about how much that meant to him, informed him as he went out to the world. And he is now the president of the Virginia Tech Foundation, a $3 billion foundation. And... Uh, so I would encourage you, your last bit of homework is to look at that, that wonderful web page, okay? Dr. Props? Would all degree candidates please rise? It's the moment you've been waiting for. Mr. President, it is with great pride in their accomplishments that I present these candidates for their respective degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Alderson Broadish University, and with the concurrence of the faculty, I confer upon you, respect, you your respective degree and invest you with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. In token thereof, I will hand you this degree. Caitlin Staggerwald, Bachelor of Science, Biology, a member of the class of 2020. Brittany C. M. Tower, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. John Tyler Lee Berry, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. <laughs> Ashley Alexis Booth, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Amber Lynn Bumball, Bachelor of Science, Biology, 
and chemistry. Garrett James Burnside, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Charmaine Cameron, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Carmen Loreen Klein, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Haley Brooke Corcoran. Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Morgan Aaron Creamer, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Eric Sunder Das, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Emily Grace Davis, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Brooke Ann Deinhart, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Genevieve Christina Jacuna, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Kayla Angelique Garcia Madden, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Danielle Nicole Hart, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Caleb Heights, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. <laughs> Leslie J. Heyer, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Heather L. Kiblinger, 
Bachelor of Science, Biology, Honors Program Graduate. Carissa Sue Coons, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Gabrielle Nicole Kyle, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Maria Excelsis Labrador, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Elizabeth Lopez Hernandez, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Andre E. Luna Beto, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Cassidy Lene Matthews, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Ashley McDonald, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Shante McDowell, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Nicole R. Miller, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Brooke Pomp, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Joshua Dakota Rebrook, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Kelsey Renee Robinson, Bachelor of Science, Biology. America Sandoval Nahara, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Anna Renee Schmidt, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Austin Richard Scott, Bachelor of Science, 
exercise science. Kashan Shiflett, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Kelsey Florence Schrader, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Nikki Rochelle Shriver, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Drew V. Sitch, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Darius Octavian Smith, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Carrie Marie Spees, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Brock M. Stewart, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Brooke Noel Stewart, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Joseph R. Kalpas. Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Terrence T. Tate, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Haley Gail Tucker, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Diane Uzodinma, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Nikki Wilson, Bachelor of Science, Nursing.
Erica Lee Wines, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Heather Marceline Wright, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Heather is receiving her diploma from her father, Victor, who is an employee of Alderson Broaddus University. <laughs> Melissa Sparks, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. You will, as, will have noticed as our graduates cross the stage to receive the respective degree, the presence of a vacant seat on the stage. This seat represents a member of the class of 2021 who is not with us this day. Jade Nicole Heater was tragically killed in October, and her classmates honor her today by placing a pink carnation in her memory. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember Jade and her family. Thank you. Same times dealing with COVID. It wasn't ideal or easy. I also wish the absolute best to my fellow graduates with their future endeavors. With that being said, the tassel has been part of the academic regalia since 1340 at Oxford. Today, it has become uh, customary at Alderson Brothers University for graduates to turn the tassel during the commencement ceremony to show our passage from undergraduate student to graduate. Please join with me as we continue this tradition and turn the tassel from right to left side of the mortarboard. Congratulations, classmates. We are graduates of Alderson Brothers University. On behalf of all the alumni of Alderson Brothers University, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you and welcome you to the Alumni Association. The Alderson Brothers University Alumni Association is proud of your accomplishments. We recognize your achievements, and we want you to know we will continue to support you and your future endeavors as you leave AB to make your mark upon the world. It is the hope of the Alumni Association that AB has been woven into your lives as it has been for me and many others before you. As you move from students to alumni, I want to encourage you to stay connected. We want to hear from you. We want to celebrate your achievements and support you in your career and your service to your community. As you step into the next chapter of your life, I want to leave you with the scripture from Joshua 1.9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Congratulations, and may God bless and keep each and every one of you. In Micah, we are reminded of what the Lord would have us do. And I leave you today with those words from Scripture. To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. 
I'm going to leave you with a story. About a week and a half ago, I was reading the New York Times, and I was reading the obituaries. And there was a gentleman that had died by the name of Vartan Gregorian. I suspect no one in this room knows who Vartan Gregorian is. I certainly didn't. He's a philanthropist. He was a winner of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the former president of Brown University, and Carnegie Corporation, the creator of the Carnegie Scholars Program, and the head of the New York Public Library. He was a native of Iran and an immigrant to the United States and has been called a true visionary for where education and knowledge intersect, the key opportunity for world peace. In the obituary, it spoke of the key moment in his life. He immigrated to the United States in 1956. He arrived in New York City. He was penniless. But he needed to transfer to switch planes to go to San Francisco to begin studies at Stanford University. He had no money. He had no plane ticket. He went to the ticket agent, and in faltering English, he poured out his troubles. The ticket agent hesitated and said, I have never done this, and I've never done what I'm about to do. He gave him the ticket. He stamped it and put it in an envelope, and he said, don't take this out of the envelope. They'll figure it out. He had four stops, and he clutched the envelope in his hands and arrived in San Francisco to go to to Stanford. Vartan Gregorian said, I have never forgotten that man for his generosity. He gave me my future, and he took a risk. My friends and graduates, today is your future and your ticket for tomorrow. Alderson Broadus University has been your ticket agent and your opportunity. Know that we are gifting you to give and return and return gifts to others. Someday, you will be that agent for change and opportunity for someone else. Take some risk to make this a better world. So in conclusion of this ceremony, I charge you graduates of the classes of 2020 and 2021 to honor these words in action indeed all the days of your life as we send you forth to carry out the service to humankind for which you have labored and prepared. May God bless you. May God bless your families and friends. And certainly, may God bless Alderson Broadus University. Thank you very much. Please stand for the alma mater and the benediction and remain in your seats for the recessional march of the graduates and the dais participants. Please do not exit until the recessional has concluded. We urge you to exit the building and your parking spots as quickly as possible. Again, we remind you to maintain a distance of six feet while exiting the building and continue to proceed through the front doors and outside. All gathering, visiting, and photography must take place outdoors. Thank you for attending today and for your support of Alderson Broadus University.
Lord our God, O great and almighty one, whose spirit fills heaven and earth, we thank you that you are our Father and that in you we have a refuge wherever we must go as we serve you on earth. We thank you that your life can be revealed in us and can flow through us so that the world may be blessed by you, our loving and caring Father. We thank you for these ceremonies today, for the recognition of each graduate that was able to come, strengthen and guide them as they move forward, and allow them also to have these characteristics to continue in their journey of life that would include honesty, responsibility, respect, cooperation, and above all else, love. Protect us and strengthen us in times of trouble and sorrow. When we trouble, travel our new paths, give us your spirit to show us the way that everything may lead to the good and to your honor. Father, through your Spirit, unite us in the unshakable hope that you shall at last be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you in all of these things and we pray. Amen.